The Duke of Sussex said he is unable to bring his family back to the UK because it is too dangerous without police protection after the Home Office refused to allow him to personally pay for protection while in Britain. Former special advisor to Sajid Javid, Salma Shah blasted the Duke saying he isnt entitled to special access to the services we all depend on. Ms Shah said, the utter nonsense that circulates about Brand Sussex is dizzying. There is no deep state conspiracy against the sixth in line to the throne. There seems to be a straightforward principle here, as far as the state is concerned he is no longer relevant, having chosen to step back from his official duties. That is the brutality of public life, and how constitutional monarchies were. 13-0 calls for people to have say on Duke and Duchess titles Ministers have been hearing that people across the UK should have a say in whether Dukes and Duchesses can take the names of places in their area. Labour MP Rachel Maskell, York Central, called for a debate into how aristocratic titles that take their name from a geographical location are assigned, having previously said that Andrew's title as Duke of York is untenable. During questions for Commons leader Jacob Rees-Mogg, Ms Maskell called for a debate on whether the future of his title as Duke of York should be determined by local people. She cited the precedent of a 1917 Act of Parliament used to strip enemies of the United Kingdom of the British peerages during the First World War. Mr Rees-Mogg gave no indication that MPs would be allowed the debate saying, as regards the award of territorial designations, that is a matter for the sovereign. Prince Andrew stopped using his HRH style and was stripped of his prestigious honorary military roles by the Queen less than a week ago. 11-11 Sophie Wessex is a true leader Sophie Wessex has been marked as a true leader for her parenting skills. The Countess, who is married to the Queen's youngest son Prince Edward marks her seventh birthday today. The couple welcomed their first child, Lady Louise Windsor, in 2003. Sophie and Edward went on to welcome their second child, James, Viscount Seven in 2007. Founds of raising remarkable teenagers and adolescent psychologist and parenting teenagers expert, Angela Karanja spoke to Express. Co.uk about Sophie Wessex's parenting. She said, one of the marked and publicly known ways that Sophie differs from other royals is that she chose to have both her children on the NHS. This is one of the marks of a true leader, a person who walks their talk. How would anyone know if the NHS works and its conditions if you've never experienced it? Read more, 1039 Could Harry speak out publicly about police row Prince Harry said he is unable to bring his family back to the UK because it is too dangerous without police protection. The Duke of Sussex filed a claim for a judicial review against the Home Office decision not to allow him to personally pay for protection while in Britain. Royal author Angela Levin said she thinks Harry will speak out about the row in an interview adding he won't keep that quiet. She added, it's another reason for him to show he wasnt respected. The royal couple personally funds a private protection team in the US for their family. Read more here. 1004 Queen honors Sophie Wessex birthday The Queen has publicly marked the birthday of Sophie, Countess of Wessex who turns 7 today. The Royal Family Twitter account, which represents the nine-year-old monarch and all working royals who don't have their own social media handle, published a message. It also includes an adorable picture of the Countess holding a puppy taken in November last year on a visit to the Guide Dogs National Center in Leamington Spa. Sophie has a long-standing commitment to supporting people suffering from vision impairment and fighting avoidable blindness. 942 Could the Masked Singer contestant be one of the royals' favorite pop stars? One of the royal family's favorite pop stars has been hinted as a contestant on The Masked Singer. Eagle Eyes viewers believe Panda could be unveiled as Ellie Goulding in the coming weeks. Panda admitted they were a solitary creature and an introverted extrovert. Sharing their suggestion, The Masked Singer fan at Thomas underscore Matthew J tweeted, Could Panda be Ellie Goulding? Hashtag Masked Singer UK. Ellie Goulding performed at the wedding of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex in 2011. Read more here, hours ago 08, two Prince Andrew braces as nightclub witness prepared to give evidence Prince Andrew is braced as a woman who claims she saw Prince Andrew with his accused in a London nightclub is prepared to give evidence against him in the civil sexual assault case. Shukri Walker alleges she was in Tramp nightclub in 2001 and saw the Duke of York with Virginia Giuffray and his friend Ghislaine Maxwell. Ms Giuffre's legal team has already made requests for witness accounts from a number of individuals including Ms Walker. Ms. Giuffray is suing the Duke in the U.S. for allegedly sexually assaulting her when she was a teenager and claims she was trafficked by convicted sex offender Epstein to have sex with the royal when she was 17 and a minor under U.S. law. Andrew has strenuously denied the allegations. 
Read more here. Hours ago 819 Happy birthday to Sophie, Countess of Wessex Sophie, Countess of Wessex celebrates her seventh birthday today. The royal is often said to be one of the Queen's closest family members. Sophie married the Queen's youngest son, Edwards, the Earl of Wessex in 1999 and have two children together, James, Viscount 7, 14 and Lady Louise Windsor, 80. Express.co.uk spoke to Inbal Honigman, a mystic and astrologer about the Countess' personality traits as an Aquarius. The expert said, this is a very enigmatic sign, creative and humanitarian. Aquarians love people from all walks of life, and enjoy art, culture, charity and interesting conversation. They have a very quirky side to them, and will live a life that most people want. 734 Harry and Meghan could snub Charles' invitation to stay The Duke and Duchess of Sussex could snub Prince Charles as an expert claims they are likely to turn down an offer to stay with him. Prince Charles reportedly invited the could to stay with him so he can meet his new granddaughter, who was born in June. However, despite reportedly planning a trip to the UK, Meghan and Harry are unlikely to accept the invitation, according to royal biographer Angela Levin. Ms. Levin told The Sun Online the Duchess would find it very difficult to stay and would be quite awkward about it all. Read more here, 7.20 Good morning good morning Im, I'll be bringing you all the latest developments on the royal family for the next 8 hours. Please feel free to get in touch with me as I work if you have a story or tips to share. Your thoughts are always welcome. Email, francesca.edwards at reachbolts.com Twitter, at Frankie L. Edwards.